Coming up in Mizzerktastic. tutorial I'm going to talk about the five must-have art supplies for every classroom. Let's make some art. Painting is silent poetry and poetry is painting that speaks. Poutarch, my first favorite art medium or supply for a classroom is wax crayons. I especially love these jumbo ones because one they don't break and two they go forever. Wax crayons are super versatile um, for all ages. I love using them all the way through grade, up to grade five, grade six. Um, you can do a lot of blending with wax crayons um, and uh, you can layer your wax crayons. You get nice bright colors. They don't need sharpening. You don't need to sharpen wax crayons. I really love wax crayons. And you can also do a lot of wax resist painting, right? So you can color with these and then paint over top with like watercolor paints and you get lovely wax resist painting. My next favorite is oil pastels. They are so good for making vibrant, beautiful colors, solid colors. You can mix colors with oil pastels. You can layer on top. They almost work like oil paints and they're super good for um, resist painting techniques. So you draw with your oil pastels and you paint on top with your watercolor paints and you get some magical effects. Super engaging for kids. Next is watercolor paints. I really love them in a the classroom because you can just get the tube kind. You get these cheap plastic palettes um, and then you pour in the tube and then let it dry fully. Okay, mine are all solid dry. All right, it's all dry. It's super hard. Then you get your paintbrush, you mix it in water, you mix it on the paint, and now you're just good to go. And then you let it dry again. So you never wash it away, um, and you don't have to wash palettes. You don't have to waste your paint, and it's good to go for a super long time. Now, I want to know in the comment section below before we continue on the last two, what kind of art projects or art lessons do you like to do in your classroom? Please let me know. I would love to hear. Next, I love felt markers. I like the thicker ones for all ages. The skinny ones don't do lots for art making, right? How do you color in an area with that? They're more for like projects. I think, you know, like poster projects. I like these guys um, because and the washable ones um, because you can make big coloring marks, right? Also, you can paint with them. Uh, you draw first with your washable felt markers and then you get water only and paintbrush and you water paint on top, just water only, paint your water on top and it will blend or bleed or wash away the ink and it will kind of turn into like a very soft paint color without having to get out paint. So I, for that reason, I really like felt markers. And finally, I like colored pencils. They do have some sharpening that comes with them. I try to avoid anything that needs sharpening because it really kind of takes away from the flow in a classroom and it eats up a lot of time. Um, and I did not like to have students use my sharpeners because it ended up in dead sharpeners. <laughs> so I always had to get an adult to sharpen. Um, and even then, my sharpener still managed to get snuck and used and broken. So I really like to, um, I do like to have colored pencils. They do offer that more rich um, intermediate level of um, exploration in your art techniques, especially if you're teaching grade six and on, and then I would start really introducing some color pencils or um, where I live in Canada, we call them pencil crayons. Um, so I use my pencil crayons um, for layering, um, lots of pigments, the same way I would use them for, use my wax crayons, right? You can layer black on top or white on top. You can take, you can mix colors, right? Yellow and blue to make green, pigment with your wax crayons. You can do the same thing with your colored pencils to make more intricate 
uh, designs with your students. Now, for fully planned art lessons, art projects, and resources, please check out my art lesson plans for you in the Misercastic Teachers Pay Teacher Store. The link will be at the very top of the description below this video. There you can find fully planned art projects, resources, um, and tutorials all ready to go. You just grab it and go and you can teach and you can grab our projects fully planned with your rubrics, assessment, everything um, for all your seasons, your holidays, all your elements of art and principles of design for different artists. So you can integrate that into your curriculum or your teaching. I also have things like grid draws and roll and draws and directed draws. I even do write and draws and craft and writes or art and writes. And you can check out all of those. There's over um, 900 or depending on when you watch this video, maybe even over a thousand art lessons and tutorials in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Again, grab those in the description below this video and I will see you in the next episode. Please like and subscribe to this channel so that way you can get lots of different art tips for teachers and I will see you in the next episode where we're going to go watch me on a Michael's Spree haul by art supplies or making Ms. Artastic art. So shop with me in my next video. You can click the card above or grab it in the link below in the description and I will see you in that episode.